Having great drainage is incredibly important. You have to have that if you want top yields, great soil health, and a good long-term future. But when we talk about improving drainage, a lot of people say, well, I don't know enough about tiling or how much tile I should have, anything else. Even if you've had lots of tile on your farm, one of the most important factors that we wanted to talk about today is drainage coefficient. In other words, how much water can I get rid of per acre per day? I'll just give you a quick example off our farm this year. In less than three days this fall, we had seven inches of rain. That's like uh, a one third of what we would normally get for an entire year. Happened in three days. Okay, if I'm set up for a half inch drainage coefficient, and I had seven inches of rain, well that means it's gonna take 14 days to get that off my field, or out of my field, if my water table had raised up that much. We had a water table that was already right at the tile lines, so we were at total field capacity. We had seven inches of rain, so it took us two weeks to get that out of the field and get the water table back down to just a three foot depth. That's really pushing it, and so it makes you ask the question, hey, is a half inch drainage coefficient enough? Well, here's the challenge. If you say that half an inch drainage coefficient isn't enough, maybe you want one inch. Well, how do you get a one inch drainage coefficient? That means you either have to put in bigger lines or you have to put in more lines, and that's going to be a bigger investment for you on the front side. So those are the decisions that you have to make for each one of your fields each year. If you decide, well, I'm not going to change anything, you have made a decision. Your decision is, I'm good enough. But if you are going to make a change, now's the time to do it. Other than drainage coefficient, the big question you've got to ask yourself is how deep or how shallow do I want my water table? So on our farm, we've typically said three feet. That's where I want it because we're in a very dry area of the country, so it's not necessary to get it down to four feet or five feet or six feet to have extra capacity. But if you're in a wetter area, that's where you want to have those tile lines a little bit deeper. So again, you, if you keep the water table down to that point, all right, you got plenty of capacity. So let's say instead of three feet, I'd set my tile lines at five feet deep. I would have had a lot more capacity to hold that seven inch rain that we got just a few weeks ago. You keep talking about the seven inch rain, Brian, and I just keep thinking, what about surface drainage? Because we get questions about that all the time. What if you just did surface drainage instead? Well, the good news was we had the water table down to roughly three feet, in some spots four or more feet. So that was great. So we had capacity to hold the water. There's very little ponding. The ponding was gone almost immediately. Just remember, with surface drainage, all you're doing is you're speeding up how fast that water gets away on the soil surface, which means you are going to increase erosion and you didn't solve the real problem here. Ponding is not the real problem. The real problem is a high water table. A high water table means no oxygen in the ground, which means dead roots, dead microbes, poor soil life, and ultimately poor yields and poor income on your farm. So this is incredibly important. I cannot stress this enough. Drainage is number one. If you don't have drainage fixed, I don't care what variety you want to plant, I don't care about your fertility program, you absolutely cannot make as much money, you can't have as healthy a soil, you've got to get drainage fixed first. Well, it definitely allows your crop to compete better against weeds like our Weed of the Week. We'll show you how to stop this tough weed coming up next.